Hello everyone, I was asked to do this video on adding up numbers that were input by a user and I kind of thought, well, maybe I'll do an array, but uh, why not keep it simple? Let's do this as simple as we possibly can. So, of course, the first thing I'm going to do is explain to the user what we're doing. And again, this is in C Sharp. This application allows you to enter 10 numbers and add them together. Remember, uh, because of C Sharp, we always want to make sure that we have our semicolon at the end. And I'm going to ask the user to enter. 10 numbers and calculate the sum. Okay. So something that might help if you're just not sure how you want to do something is to of course lay it out first in pseudocode or lay it out in a program I like to use called Raptor where you're putting a flowchart in and then you run it first to make sure that the logic or the order that you're putting everything in actually runs properly. Um, I think I'm just going to use three variables for this. I think I'll use a for loop. So int i, n, and sum. Now for the for loop, if I can type it, <laughs> a lot of people use i equal 1. You want to make sure that you do not forget that you have to put semicolons in between each section. And then there's no semicolon at the end because you've got your block of code directly underneath that and that needs to be in curly braces. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to have the console write out the, the word number. I'm going to put a placeholder here. for the number to be placed. And then I'm going to use the variable i in for the to hold the number. Okay. Don't forget that semicolon. And then the variable in I'm going to use to convert because anytime you have a user that is putting in a string value, you want to make sure, well, if they're putting in any value, it's always a string in C sharp. So you have to convert that to an int. And remember with our sum plus equal none here, or sum plus equal n here, that just simply means sum equals sum plus n. Remember when you're working with numbers to put those placeholders in so that it prints out to the screen. And then we're going to use the value that is in the variable sum. All right, now let's take a run at that and see how that is working. So when this runs, it's going to ask me for my numbers. I'm going to just use something easy so we can know if it's actually adding it up properly. And it says the sum of the 10 numbers is 50. You can see right here I misspelled stuff. You want to make sure that you're spelling it correctly. But it does add up the numbers that the user entered and it printed out the sum. 
Thanks everyone for joining. I hope this is helpful. Have a great day.